Hi there everybody, welcome to Saga's Not Going Out Club and Write Time, in other words, time to write. Uh, my name's Tony McHale and I'll be leading you through a half a dozen sessions which hopefully will inspire you, give you the ideas, give you the confidence, give you the tools to be, to be able to go off and write whatever you want to write, whether it be a, a TV drama, a stage play, a radio drama, a novel, a film, whatever. You might want to write your own autobiography, but this will give you a way how to begin, how to commence and how to start creating uh, that, that piece of work. First of all, let me tell you a bit about myself. My name, as I say, is Tony McHale. I'm a, a writer, director, producer, but mainly a writer. I think about 80% of my work has been actually writing. But I did start life as an actor uh, because many moons ago, uh, I couldn't see any other way into doing show business. Uh, so I would, um, I, off I went to drama school, uh, became an actor, went into repertory theatre, did lots of uh, plays and things in repertory theatre over a period of about 10, 12 years. Um, then started doing some bits on TV, did some bits on film, um, my writing career sort of mirrored my acting career to a certain extent. When I was working in theatre, I would write stage plays. I would write plays uh, that uh, I would then press gang in the other actors to actually performing late night in the bar or wherever. Uh, then when I um, moved on to television as an actor, I started to think about writing for television. So I started to do what I thought I was good at, or at least I know I enjoyed, which was writing thrillers. So I'd write whole thrillers. I'd write four or five part, six part thrillers and send them off to the BBC or ITV and inev inevitably they would come winging back and, um, and that would be it. I'd think, oh, the others are rubbish, so I'd sit down and write another and so on and so on and so on until one day... They actually bought one. I got commissioned to write a thriller called Dog in the Dark, which was my first TV thriller, uh, which was around about the end of the 1970s. I was still acting at the time, and it was a little time before I transitioned into writing full-time. And I became uh, a full-time writer, really, in the early 80s, uh, especially when I was commissioned to write on what was a new series at that time called East Eight, which you, some of you may now know as EastEnders. I wrote on EastEnders for the first 12 years and uh, I was the first writer to write 100 episodes of EastEnders. But I've also written on lots of other TV shows as well. Uh, the Bill, Silent Witness, Waking the Dead, Boone, if anybody remembers that, uh, Perfect Scoundrels, Another Ray from the Grave, but lots of others as well. So that's been my massive experience over the, over the years. And it's been an incredibly enjoyable experience for me. I've loved it. The one thing I'm going to say about writers, and I'm going to say this time and time again, is that writers write. You can't achieve anything if you don't write. But the biggest problem is where to start. Where do you start to write? How do you void that blank page? How do you not have that moment where I go, oh, it's a white page, I can't think of what to write. Basically, I work on a premise that is slowly, slowly. What I don't offer is actually a blueprint for you to work on. What the idea of these sessions are is that you find the way for you yourself, the best way for you to work. How does it work best for you? There are lots of writing courses around that offer you a blueprint uh, that say you do X, Y and Z, then you will achieve whatever you want to achieve. Well, I don't quite believe that, to be very honest, because I think we all work very differently and we all think very differently. Therefore, we all need to develop our own ways of working. I'm going to offer up a possible way of working that you can actually then move around, change, play with, adapt, make it your very own. But hopefully it's a way of working that will actually avoid that panic of that moment when you see the blanked blank page 
the worst thing a writer can think of is what do I write next? This is a way to actually try and circumvent that problem and actually find a way to be able to always sit down and write. As I say again, writers write. We don't achieve anything if we don't write. Like I was saying about my career, once I got something rejected, I'd sit down and write something else again. Another new piece and off I go again. And it's still the same today. I still write certain things on spec. If I'm motivated totally because I love the idea, I'll go off and write it. Uh, so how do we actually start off? How do we actually kick off that very, very, very first moment? There you are. You're sitting there with your, your desk, like I'm sitting here at my desk. You're sitting there at your desk and you have a blank piece of paper. So how do you start? Well, it's very simple, really. What you need to begin with is an idea. And it's as simple as that. But always remember, another phrase that you'll hear from me time and time and time again is simple isn't easy. So what you need to do is have that idea and understand what that idea is. You need to sort of work on that idea and then you know what you're going to be writing about. Now, what is an idea? An idea, uh, a man gets up one morning, uh, sets off to work, slips on a banana skin and breaks his leg. He ends up in the hospital uh, and, his, and his wife joins him there. That isn't really an idea. That's an incident. An idea has repercussions. It has different avenues. It has different roots. It has different layers. It has lots of other possibilities about it. So when thinking about an idea, you need to think about a, a story, how a story would develop, how that idea that you've got in your head will become uh, that fully fledged piece. Um, simply, if it was an autobiography, you know that idea is uh, about your life, about you. But first of all, you've got to work out which bit of you are you going to be talking about. Are you going to be talking about everything from birth to the very moment that you put your last dot on the page? Or are you going to be talking about a certain section? You've got to decide and how that is going to come together and how that's going to work. But normally in fiction, you've also got to decide what the idea is. How is that going to translate into a script, a book or whatever? Now, an idea may be a man gets up in the morning. He sets off to work, having said goodbye to his wife. He was about to cross a road when a car comes along and knocks him down. Now, this is all being witnessed by a third party who we don't know who it is uh, and watches as a man is taken away to hospital. He then, in turn, informs a wife that her husband has uh, been in a, involved in an accident and what is she going to do about it. The wife suddenly rushes to the hospital and finds that her husband is not there. Now, that's an idea. Now, where do we go from here? How do we work it out? What's happened to him? Where's he going? Who's the guy? Why was he watching him? What does it, what's the relationship between the man and the woman? All these things come together to create an idea. So when you're thinking about putting down an idea, think about how that idea will translate into a story. Because, and another phrase you'll hear me say quite often, is story is God. So you want to find something that will turn into a great story. Not a story you've seen before, but a story that you've personally created. Something that you want to tell, that you want to say, you want to get over to people, you want people to enjoy, you want people to engage with. So think how that idea can translate into a story. And that's easy to do. Because you need to just start embellishing the idea mentally. Now, before you put anything down on paper, take time to think. Just think about it. Don't just rush into it. You might want to start putting some notes down on paper. And if you do, then your writer block's gone. There's no problem. No longer a blank piece of paper. You can put some notes down and then slowly develop those notes into an idea. So there's assignment. 
is for this particular session, your assignment is very simple. You have got to decide what your idea is. Now, sorry, I ought to um, uh, mention that you don't have to do these assignments. These are not compulsory. I'm not going to come around and mark them and say, where's your homework, Sonny? Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, uh, but if you, if you do want to do them, please do. And, uh, and hopefully you'll find it useful. Uh, but you're more than welcome to come and join the next session without even thinking about an idea or an assignment. Uh, but if you wish to get involved in terms of writing something yourself, then let's start here with the very first assignment, which is writing down that idea, getting that idea down in black and white. So what you have to do is decide what you want to do. What, what does it want to be a comedy? Does it want to be a tragedy? Does it want to be a kitchen sink drama? Decide what it is going to be. And this is the same, whether it's a script, uh, a radio drama, a stage play, or even a novel. The same idea applies. You have to know what the idea is. When you've worked out that idea, to a certain extent, then write it down. I, when I say write it down, I'm talking one paragraph, two maximum. Don't go crazy. Keep it idea. Keep the idea succinct. Keep it together. You don't want it too rambling at this point. We don't need details of characters. We don't need details of locations or any of that. We just need to know what the hub, what the what the center of that idea is. What's driving, what's, what's going to be driving this story through. And you've got to work on that. So write down a, a paragraph, maybe two, but no more. And then what I would suggest is find a confident. Now, you may in these times be sitting at home by yourself and not even able to turn around to somebody and, and, and tell them about what you're doing. If not, if so, then pick up the phone, ring somebody and read them the idea over the phone. Get another reaction from it. They may say, well, I don't really get that. Or they may say, oh, fantastic. What happens next? Or whatever they say, take on board and make some alterations. Rewriting is never a bad thing. Getting it better and better and better is always a good thing. So that's the first assignment to this, this week and that on this session. And that is for you to go off and do whenever you want. Um, the, uh, the, like I said, the idea is paragraph, two paragraph, whatever the idea is. Feel that it's a great idea. Feel that it's an idea that you really uh, want to engage with and want to write about. It might be something very personal. It might be something that you've had this uh, wonderful fantasy idea that you wanted to write since you were in the sixth form. Whatever, you just concentrate on that idea and work it up. And it might sound like an easy exercise, but believe me, ideas are not easy. Simple isn't easy. So I hope that's been of some use to start with. And I hope you join me uh, next time for the next session of Write Time, Time to Write, um, because I'd love you to come along and join, join us. And I'd be thrilled to know how the progress is happening. So hopefully I will see you again very soon for another session of Write Time here on the Saga Not Going Out Club. And in the meantime, stay home, stay safe. Thanks a lot for listening.